Hi, this is Chart Gal Lori bringing you the Fab Four Futures, and we'll also be talking about bonds tonight. So first of all, take a quick look at YM, and this is the Dow Weekly. We've got an upper wick forming right here. We broke to the upside so far on the weekly candle, but we got an upper wick of profit taking reflected in the downside that we had at the end of today. On the daily, we could be a bull flag. Ideally, on a bull flag, you don't see these upper wicks. We want to see lower wicks on bull flags, and we want to see decreased bear volume. However, we are clearly above the 12 and 26 EMA on the daily. So, And this daily lower low break that we had was saved by the 50 MA. On the 4-hour, on any bounce on YM, the odds favor a lower high in this area. So a lower high relative to 24765. On lower time frames, let's look at your levels. You have support attempting to be established here at 24076, and then your next support, 23832. Your next resistance is 24518, and then 2765. NASDAQ. NASDAQ is bouncing at this psychological level of 9,300, and we'll talk about that a lot in the futures videos, is the psychological levels become great places for potential bounce trades. Uh, we like to do that a lot in the room when we see 9,300s broken, for example. If we can find a support nearby and then do a quick psych, we call it a psych flip, where you flip at a psych level. So right now with, let me just zoom back out on NASDAQ. NASDAQ has not lost this upper trend. And as we know, QQQ, the technology names mainly make up ES in the market. So as long as NASDAQ is chugging along, the overall market would tend to move to the upside. On the 12 hour, two awful upper wicks of profit taking. So we just need to be careful with that and the bear volume slightly elevated. On the four hour, we lost the uptrend. And let's zoom into the hourly and let's do the same thing we did for YM. Odds favor a lower high somewhere in this area, uh, a lower high relative to 941650. And right now we're bouncing off the 50 MA. But this was some pretty big bear volume that we need to take note of. On shorter term time frames, let's get those levels. Your support attempting to be established right now, 927450. And then 923650 resistance. 941650 and 941725. Nice double top there. Actually, let me draw it like this a little bit nice and neater. Nice double top there for a top fish. And we like to call top fish is when you're dropping down. The, these are my favorite. When you're dropping down from a higher high to a lower low, then attempting that higher high, that's typically a tall order when you're pulling from a lower low and bouncing. So those are some of my favorite top fish. So let's move on to ES. ES on the weekly, this 50 MA is acting as resistance and has been for ES on the weekly. It will be notable for me when we get above the 50 MA on the weekly on ES. Again, a potential bull flag with an ugly upper wick. We don't like to see those, but look at the slope of the EM, EMA, SOTIMA. So it's an acronym for slope of the EMA. When it's pointed up, that is bullish. We have RSI, It's uh, that's kind of flat, but SOTIMA is definitely pointed up. Same exercise here, where we're expecting a lower high relative to, let me just draw that a little better in this area. So we would be expecting a lower high relative to 297625. Let's get your levels. A low attempting to be set here at 290850 and then your next support is 288425 your resistance 295850 and 297625. Just real quick, I'm noticing here that ES is below the 50 MA here. And NASDAQ is above. Oh, wrong drawing tool. So NASDAQ is above and ES is below. So again, just noting that difference in NASDAQ strength. And how do I use this information? When I see that we have a strong leader and I want to go long, I would go NASDAQ long. And then I look for the weakest. You want to pick off the weakest of the herd, if you will, if you're looking to go short. So on 
RTY. On the weekly, still can't get over the 12 EMA. Daily potential for a bull flag, not as much elevated bear volume as we noted on some of the other charts. And on the four hour, we're looking for the four hour lower high, the odds favor it. Of course, news can wreck that play in a heartbeat. We're looking for a lower high relative to 1338.40, then your next resistance 1350.70. Your more localized supports on shorter term time frames are 1298.60. As you can see, that psych level, le psych level of 1300 held. Then your next support is way down at 1270. Again, noting that 50 RTY is below the 50 MA on the hourly, and so is YM. So NASDAQ is the only one comfortably above, above the 50 MA. Then finally, we have ZB. So we talked about ZB last night, and it looks like we're getting some bullish moves here. The only thing I'm slightly concerned about is a potential bear flag here that we see on the daily forming. On higher term, higher time frames, we have a potential bull flag on ZB. In a way that you could trade this is TLT calls or just TLT straight up comments, which is not an actual share. Shares is an ETF, but I really want to see price get over the 12 26 and the 50 ma over the daily just to get a little bit more bullish but we did change the four hour trend which is pretty big however we're still looking for a 12 hour lower high pull back to a higher low then that could be your potential entry point for zb on bonds and then finally shorter term time frames let's get you some levels you have support at 178.15 177.26, you have re resistance the high of this move, 179.07 where we are now, and then all the way up at 180.31. Let's see how price reacts here at the hourly. And again, this will be on top watch for me of all five that we've looked at. This is the better setup to go bullish in my opinion. And this also look kind of all climaxy. We look for volume climaxes to mark the end of a potential capitulation. So again, this is top watch for me for a bull trade aiming for the 12 hour higher low grab. I hope this helped you tonight and happy and safe trading.